Hello, this is Lucia from the Pace Law Library. So now that we have completed inserting table of contents, pagination, and section breaks in our document in the previous demo, we can move on to the last two steps of formatting our brief. We have to create and insert table of authorities, and we have to insert the cover page. Again, I am using a PC computer and Microsoft Word 2007. Before I start going through my document and marking individual citations, I want to go through them one more time and make sure that they're all consistent, especially my short form citations, that I consistently use the spaces between a section and a subsection, or that I consistently use spaces between abbreviation of a reporter and, its, and the series that will all be picked up by the computer. So I will pull up my document, which is right here. We already have the table of contents and the page numbers. And now we are going to start working on the table of authorities. Going through my document, I refer to various sections of a statute or various cases. But what I want to mark is when I actually cite to them. And that in this particular brief doesn't start until the argument section, specifically the summary of the argument. That's when I first time cite to a statute or other authority. I see right here I have 18 U.S.C. 922 G1, so I will highlight that. I will click on References. And to the right-hand side of the ribbon, I have the table of authorities work buttons. Mark citation. And here, I have a new dialog that opens. I will have to do three things here. First, I will have to make sure that the citation as it appears in this first box is correct, because this is the way it will appear in the table of authorities. Two, I have to mark a category, either a case, statute, or other authority, or rules, or regulation, or constitution, or a treatise, or I can create a new category if I really wanted to. And three, I will have to create a short form citation for the computer to go by when it marks the entire document. Here, I also have to make a decision whether or not I want to mark my citations one by one throughout the entire document, or if I want to use mark all, knowing that it will also mark up citations in headings and in places where I only referred, perhaps, to the source, but where I not really cited. And in that case, I have to remember that once I insert the table of authorities, I will have to go back and manually adjust the page numbers in the table of authorities. So I delete the ones on which the citation is only referred to rather than cited. So here I see that my citation for the table of authorities looks good. This is a statute. And I have to create the short form. Now I know that any time that I cite it to 922 G1, I always use the 922 G1. But not every time I use the section sign. Sometimes I use the section sign, but sometimes I just spelled out section. So if I leave it like this, it will only find the ones that have the section sign, but it will not find the ones that I spelled out the, the word section. So I don't want to use the section in part of the short form citation. I only want to use the numbers because this is the way I referred to this particular section. And I will say mark all. And now it went through the document and it marked all the places where I typed 922 G1. Again, I have to remember that it also marks the places where it appeared in headings. And in headings, obviously, I'm not citing. I, I'm only referring to that section. So those are the places that I will have to subsequently go and delete those page numbers manually from the table of authorities once inserted in my document. I close the dialog and I will mark the next citation, which is right here. Mark citation, make sure it looks good, statute, and adjust my pinpoint and adjust my short form. Mark all. Close. Next. 
is 922D1. Mark citation. Make sure it is properly cited for the table of authorities. It's part of a statute and adjust my short form. Mark all close. Scroll down to find the next citation, which is a case. I will highlight the case. Mark citation. Adjust it. So I'm missing the end of parenthesis and I have to delete the pinpoint citation. For cases we always have to give a pinpoint and in this case in the very first box this is the way that the citation to this case will appear in the table of authorities and there is no need for pinpoint citation. It's a case and I have to adjust my short form. Part of a short form is always a case name so I can use the word rows to find subsequent short form citations to this case. Mark all close, find the next one. The one thing with cases is that often we use id and when we do we obviously want to account for these situations. However, usually we are using it within a page. So if I cite to a case on the top of a page and then I cite to the case again maybe twice or three times immediately subsequent to the first citation, I don't really need to mark those it's because they're already accounted for by the citation on the top of the page. But sometimes what happens is if you cite to a case on the bottom of a page and then your text continues to the next page and you need to you are citing again to the same case, there logically we would we should use it again. However, that can be somewhat hard for the reader to follow. So it is recommended to just use a short form on the next page. So again, this way the table of authorities will account for all these short forms and therefore account for all the it's because they really should appear within the same page. I have to adjust my citation for the table of contents. Get rid of the pinpoint, it's a case. And create my short form by using the name of the case. Mark all close, find the next citation, which is a law review article. Highlight the entire law review article. Mark citation, get rid of the pinpoint again. This time around it's other authority, it's not a statute or a case, but if you wanted to you can create secondary authority, a category and file it under there. And I have to create my short form. I know that if I short form a law review article, part of that short form citation will always be the last name of the author. So that's a good word to use to create a short form citation for the computer to go after any subsequent citations to this particular law review. So I will use Klein, mark all, close, now I will find the next one. Which is another law review article. And like this I will continue until I finish the entire document. I'll get rid of the short form, other authorities, create my short form mark all and this is what I have to do throughout the entire document once I do that I go back to the top of my document where I saved the space for table of authorities and I will insert the table of authorities so my heading moved down a little bit, so I will just move it back up a bit. 
click on the left, Insert Table of Authorities. A new dialog opens where I will have to spend a little bit of time because this is where I get to format the font that is used within the Table of Authorities. Obviously, the font of the Table of Authority should match the font of the entire brief because I use Times New Roman. This is what I should be using here um, for the Table of Authorities. Number one, I want to unclick Use Pass In. Sometimes a source will appear on many pages, and when that happens, the computer by default wants to use this Pass In, but we don't want to use that. We want to see all the pages on which the source appeared. Keep original formatting is fine. Tap letter, and now I want to modify, and I want to modify the table of authorities because I don't want to use Cumbria. I want to use Times New Roman. Font 12 is fine. OK. And now I can insert the table of authorities, and there it is. There are my cases, statutes, and other authorities. But I cannot forget to go and manually adjust and delete the pages on which I am only referring to, a to an authority rather than citing it. And that's something that just has to be done manually and cross-checked with your text or with the text of the brief. And the last thing to do is to insert cover page. I have cover page ready. So I will highlight the whole thing, copy, go back to my documents, and insert my cover page right in here. I can now uncheck the markup, but I can see the final product. But it starts with cover page and no page numbers followed by the table of contents, which starts on page Roman numeral 1, table of authorities on page Roman numeral 2, and then it goes into the rest of the brief. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck writing.